Hello, me fixing everything and because there is always something to fix, I'll show you today how to oil up and uh, grease your uh, Tajima embroidery machine. The same goes for all multi needle embroidery machines, even for the small ones like this one. So let's start with what we need. What we need is a flathead screwdriver, sewing machine oil. I'm using this for a ZSK embroidery machines because that's the only thing I can get in uh spray bottle and i'm using uh lithium paste performance grease this is sold by zsk for embroidery machines unfortunately i don't have original white grease for tajima but it's whatever you can get your hand to i will tell you that if you don't grease your machine it will fail and I'll show you what is going to fail. For example, we're at the moment with needle number one. Yeah. Here, this lever is not engaged and that's the gap it got. This is engaged and this is the gap. On this machine, the lever is failed. So on number three, that's without the gap. Yeah. And look here. This is because no grease has been applied. So this leads to poor, poor performance. Now, first thing, you can take this cover off or you can put the machine to number one and then we will, let me show you. We'll get on the back and we will spray everything right here. One, two. This video you know, is a 4K video, so you can watch it in how many we sprayed? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We'll need to uh, move the head to the other side in order to be able to uh, get it higher. Now, uh, to get to the other needles. Now, here, spray as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, a little bit more we'll need. And now, on to here. I'll just move on the front. Can you see where the top of the screw is? Spray right there. Now we'll move, move the thing to the 15th needle set. This should move ahead. And we'll just spray now onto this side. There we go, and now here. Okay, and here did we spray? Yes. Next thing with the oil we're gonna do is undo this bolt right here with a flathead screwdriver. Okay, next part is after we opened this thing on the side here, will be to grease up. Can you see here on the shaft, there is a small opening right there there we go also reciprocator shaft also needs a little bit of lobing there we go there is a shaft next to it also where you see shaft spray there we go shaft on the bottom as well it 
a little bit uh, hurt with the foam in my way so i'll just spray it here there we go <clears throat> and now also can you see this bolt with the screw this one yeah on the top there is a little opening that's where the oil needs to go that's it and something that i didn't know is can you see that grease right there I think it will be very beneficial if you put some grease in there. I never put before, but let's put some grease and we'll start greasing stuff as well. Okay, I have uh, the grease right here and I'll try to put not a whole lot, but just enough. <clears throat> there we go and this is the greasing point done now something that I almost forgot which is uh, right right there I'll start zooming now Can you see it? The white thing that you see right there is grease. So that's where we need to grease as well. <clears throat> Let me just take the grease stick. I'm using a, just a regular paintbrush. Did I put it in? Yeah, it's right in there. Can you see? All this grease right in there. No, not there. Yeah. Okay. So, I'll close up that screw here and we'll continue to the next bit so next I'll just spray twice in here actually maybe three times if you have a normal oil it's better to use the normal oiler here as well a little bit and now in this opening there is a shaft uh, this opening right here so I'll try to show you where exactly we need to spray. I'll try to show you here like that. Then, can you see the two surfaces? Yeah, exactly in there. Right there. There you go. That's it. You can take the thing and just hope that it will go a little bit to the left as well. So I'll just get the straw and make this angle onto it. And I'll just spray like that. Now that's it. Now, next bit is remove this cover right here 
that uh, it's covering a little cam just like that there we go take the grease okay so it's a little bit hard to see but just go in and squeeze it in uh, just like that I'll just put a little bit more maybe it doesn't need more but I'll still put more yeah. can I look the focus no <coughs> sorry I'm still struggling with this iPhone Just like that, in and in like that, maybe a bit more. And there we go. <clears throat> now, put the cover on. Now, I'll put it to needle one, not that it matters. And, I'll get onto the back. And can you see these little bearings right here? This looks like the original grease also. I'll just get it on my finger, no, I'll get it onto the brush. And just brush it in. On the finger is definitely easier. Yeah, it will be on the finger. There we go, just like that. Oh, my, my brush failed. Anyway. Let's get some more. And now it's going to be the same thing, but onto the cam sander. Now here, inside these cams, I don't know if you can see, but usually the oil, the grease inside is pretty, no, you can't see, let me show you up close. <coughs> It's very little grease, can you see? And it's so dry. Yes, you can see now. Okay, so, now we'll just... Get in with a brush. And here like that. Each one of them. And this will grease up the uh, take a lever cam roller. Every single one. And I will also move to the other side on needle 15 and I'll do the same on the needles from number one this is a little bit too much here but I always put a little bit too much what can you do all of the access will be on the cam so Okay, let's go on the other side. And now there is only a little bit left. Can you see that trail? Just put a little bit of foil into here. It will uh, get further and here a few squirts as well. 
can you see right there yep, it overflow just like that and generally that's it on the front if you have idea for something else that needs to be greased maybe from time to time in many many hours you can go in between and just the camshaft you can lubricate over there but I think it's enough on the bevel here that's what I mean um, very little oil right here I almost forgot not oil grease like right here and just smear with your finger on the front and back yep important bit here this shaft needs to be lubricated and here as well there we go and on to here a couple of dabs as well here take some compressed air and just blow everything you can and there is a opening right here spray on the top spray there you go and here on the side you can also spray there we go does it look okay here you can give it a spray as well there we go here in this opening twice and on the back is there on the back i don't remember i think there was if you have an opening here on the back also give it a spray No? Hmm. Maybe I'm maybe I'm forgetting something. Maybe I had it on another machine. Anyway, some of them have a have an opening right here. Anything else? I think uh, I think that's it. This is one of the most important bits too. So uh, grease every two three months. Even it says it says here on the on the thingy. Can you see this one right there? But it's so small that you can't really see. So and this phone is so quick, I can't. Okay, now Well, that's it on the front. I will make a video in a few weeks for uh, the sides of the machine, but this you can do every other week, the greasing every other month. And uh, generally that's it for all of them. Even the newest one, the oldest one, small machines, this machine as well. I hope this video has been helpful to you and I'll see you on to the next one. Bye-bye.